Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank, one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. Isle of Scale, headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. What's with that weird bird effigy? It's the annual phoenix ceremony. It symbolizes the collapse of civilization from which the Ark Society emerges unscathed and triumphant. Ah, rebirth. Interesting. I... Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony, symbolizing the downfall of civilization from which the Ark Society will emerge unscathed. Apparently, a giant phoenix-shaped effigy is set on fire with Zoe inside it. Well, I suggest you locate this master of ceremonies who lights the fire 47. If this doesn't sound like an accident waiting to happen, I don't know what does. Seriously, what do you care? If some filthy rich broad wants to flirt with danger to feel alive, I say let her. The paper is silent, not our concern. Yeah, I guess you're right. Huh? You should probably check that out. Absolutely.
awesome play. Yeah, a drop in the ocean. See you, friend. Zoe Washington, the Ark Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress. Be it our next home in the stars or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud, be fearless, for the future is ours to shape. Take care, sir. How are you today, sir? Look at you, Fenneker. All dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Light her up. As the world burns, from its ashes, not just to survive, but to live. throughout the castle, you know, like out of reach places like the ramparts. And the first initiate to collect enough tokens undergoes the polygraph test with the chairwoman. If you're deemed worthy, you get promoted to ARC member. Hmm. I could- So, every year, aspiring ARC patrons compete in a treasure hunt to obtain membership status. The first initiate to collect enough tokens undergoes a private screening with Zoe Washington, which appears to involve a polygraph and electroshock device. Hmm. I suggest you join the fray, 47. A private audience with one of our targets is just what we need.
Good work, 47. You've got all the tokens needed to gain access to the initiation. I suggest you find your way to the screening room. There was an ornate door near the courtyard. Hand in your tokens there. See those tokens. Congratulations, Initiate. Now the real trial begins. Hey, Miss Washington. An Initiate has completed the treasure hunt. Yeah, understood. Bring him to the interrogation room now. So, uh, you think you got what it takes, Initiate? You think you got the stomach for what comes next? I can hold my own. Is that so? You some kind of tough guy? Tough is for amateurs. Oh, Miss Washington's gonna have a field day with you. Shit. Take a seat. Good. Now pay attention. This is a polygraph machine hooked up to an ECT device. That's short for electroconvulsive therapy, and I assure you it packs quite a punch. In a moment, Ms. Zoe Washington is going to ask you a series of questions, and I suggest you answer truthfully, or the machine will know. Is that clear? Very. Good man. Solid work, 47. Let's see if you can't turn this interrogation to your advantage. So... You made it this far, Initiate, but now the real test begins. Is the machine operational? The ECT device is set to medium voltage. I don't recommend going higher than that. This setup is still largely untested. Well, as long as the Initiate speaks the truth, we won't need to. Has my colleague explained the rules to you? Exhaustively. Good, let's begin. And do not attempt to deceive me. First question. Are you the best in your field? Yes. He's not lying. Very good. Now, are you willing to break the law if required? Yes. True. I see. And can you keep a cool head under pressure? Yes. Checks out. Interesting. Well, you're just perfect, aren't you? Maybe a little too perfect. Are you a reporter working for the liberal media? No. He's not lying. Well, that's all I needed to hear. Congratulations, Initiate. You have passed the test. Follow me. need to dress the part. Over there's your new set of robes. Wear them with pride. You're one of us now. Congratulations, Initiate. Or should I say, ARC member? Yep, you're one of us now. Welcome to the big leagues. Nice. Suits you. Okay, time to join your peers. Follow me. As a fully-fledged ARC member, you'll have special privileges. First offer on our top suites and bunkers, early access, you name it. Uh, would you like to be on the first ship to Titan? As a fully-fledged ARC member, you'll have special privileges. First offer on our top suites and bunkers, early access, you name it. Uh, would you like to be on the first ship to Titan? Well, you can now. Fascinating.
Of course, with privilege comes responsibility. You are expected to invest in future projects approved by the Council, and to donate to the Ark of Legacy. Not a problem. I'm very accountable. Oh! One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington. Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison. It was lost for over 500 years, until Blake Nathaniel unsealed the serpent's tomb. Extraordinary. It's a flipping necklace. Anyway, the Washington twins found it first. The way I hear it, Sophia literally has the necklace in her hand when Nathaniel propels from the ceiling, triggers this ancient death trap, and, you know, murder and mayhem ensues. But I oh, thought those two hey. were lovers. Oh, no. Currently way off, which explains the added security. I don't follow. Think about it. So, according to its charter, the Ark Society collects priceless art and historical artifacts in case of a global disaster. And this year, world-famous treasure hunter Blake Nathaniel has donated an Aztec necklace called the Cloud Serpent to the Ark Society's growing collection. However, Blake fears that Sophia Washington, his former lover and rival, who has hunted the Cloud Serpent for years, will attempt to steal it for herself before it goes into storage. Hmm, could be just the bait we need. Sir? Smooth, it's 47. The Sparrow's got nothing on you. Okay. What was that? Hello? Someone there? Hello? I wonder what that could be. that sound? Oh. What are the most frequently asked questions? Chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Sophia. operative. Blake? Quite the I resume. almost didn't recognize you without a knife in my back. I messed up. I see that now. Heck, Can we talk? <laughs> this should be good. How Follow me. If it were the only initiative to consider, then maybe the pitch would land better. But as it is, I just can't imagine. Have a good mind. evening, sir. Excellent, 47. Let's give Sophia her heart's desire, shall we? You've got one minute. I did wrong by you, Sophia. I see that now, and I want to make amends. Here, this is rightfully yours. Well, well. Look who comes crawling back. Leave us. Yeah, hi, how are you? You know, 
We lost three men because of you. Wickus was crushed by a rolling boulder. Jaco fell into a pit trap. And Zoe and me? We only escaped the arrows by using one of the local guides as a human shield. Now, this is a nice gesture, but it doesn't even begin to make amends. I know. May I? Fine. But not too tight. You know, I thought about sending the boy... One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Zoe Washington. A remote trigger. Dead. Hmm. This takes me back. Good thinking, 47. Goodbye, old friend. And thank you for everything. Rest assured, I will finish what you started. So... Here we are. You didn't want me and Sophia taking over. Fought us tooth and nail, but a fat lot of good it did you. The partners, they turned a deaf ear, and deep down, Janus, you know why. Because, for all your smarts, you're just rank and file. Pedestrian, middle class, blah. And we have the one thing Merit can't buy. Blue. Blood. One target down. Anyway, catch your boys later. Ah, here's something 47. According to this email thread, Sophia up. Washington has recruited one of the one architects in a plan to discredit the constant. Well, keep Sounds trying. promising. It's important. What's going on, Sophia? Interesting. The poison chip in the constant's neck was designed by a Kronstadt engineer, a Mr. Marek Sinclair, who also works for the Ark Society. Apparently, Sophia wants Sinclair to approach the constant and offer to remove the chip. If the Constant takes the bait, Sophia can prove to the Providence partners that their top controller is not to be trusted. Hmm. Sounds promising. I suggest you head over to the conference space, see if you can't locate Mr. Sinclair. If I had the money, I'd snap up one of those inner ring placements as soon as they were available. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure the outer edges would be fine. But he if I had that see. kind of money, I'd want the no. best of the best. No. I'd yeah, pack up and I'm, leave tonight if I could. I'm, I'm just gonna have to stop you right there. I'm perfectly happy with my subscription, and, uh... No, I was not aware of that. But, but I'm still not interested. Right, okay, okay, listen, lady. You're wasting my time and yours, okay? Don't call this number again. Good evening, Sophia. You know what? I haven't mentioned it to the family. Well, but isn't this ironic? The one I hear is why I'm left. It's amazing the things you pick okay. up when nobody gives you a second thought. Find ah, out what that was. Let's have yes. it. I gave yep. you a task. It should have been an easy sell, I and yet <laughs> here the council is undecided. Should I be worried? I That's Sinclair, all right. And those are the blueprints for the poison chip. Should come in handy. I look forward to your machinations now. I'm going to 
nice evening. I suppose. No rope, no mask. Which rank are you? Oh, I'm more of an outside observer, Mr. Name's Sinclair. I'm chief technical designer at Kronstadt Industries. The name rings a bell. Here, I think it might interest you. What's this? I think you know. The chip in your neck is my design, which means I can override it for a price. Most interesting. Meet me at the tower and be discreet. We can't be seen together. Always am. Lovely by the fireplace. May I see those blueprints again, please? Interesting. All right, Mr. Sinclair. I'm listening. Don't. In fact, forget all I said. Excuse me? This wasn't my idea. Sophia Washington. She's the one who told me to approach you. It's all a trap. Go on. I never asked why. I just went along because she's the boss. And you're telling me this now? Why? Let's just say I don't like to get my hands dirty. I see. Thank you for your candor, Mr. Sinclair. You have been most helpful. Hang on for a moment. Sophia, I need to see you at the tower. I'm sure you are, and no, it can't. Nicely done, 47. This should put Sophia firmly in the doghouse. I recommended you and Zoe to the partners against my mentor's wishes because I saw something in you. And this is how you repay me? You think because the partners noticed you that you have their trust? Their confidence. I have served them for decades, and you don't even know their names. And yet, you're the one with a poison chip in your neck, and I'm the one holding the trigger. You? They gave it to you. Ouch. That's gotta sting. I mean, the constant is like the voice of God, right? Only he speaks for the partners. Surely they wouldn't dream of undermining his authority. Only... The partners are old school, aren't they? They recognize class, pedigree, birds of a feather, and all that. And you? You reek of middle class. You carry the stick of public transportation. And while you have spent decades climbing the corporate ladder. Me and Zoe, we've got ourselves a private elevator and it goes straight to the top. Don't fool yourself, Sophia. They may use you to punish me, but you're a tool, nothing more. And this pathetic ruse only shows me how much you have yet to learn. I've said my piece. <coughs> Shit. What? That was premature for us. <laughs> Quick, get him out of sight, then finish the mission. The clock is ticking. One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Zoe Wash. Sophia Washington wants them to pass some kind of motion, but one of the council members is fighting her tooth and nail. Huh. Wouldn't happen to be Jebediah Block, the coal baron, would it? Yeah. How do you know? Well, I happen to know he's on the... So, Sophia Washington has called a council meeting between the original five members of the Ark Society. Sophia hopes to pass some sort of motion, but she faces stark opposition from ultra-conservative coal baron Jebediah Block. Hmm. I suggest you find Mr. Block while the council is still in recess, 47. 
I suspect the headstrong Sophia will not take kindly to dissidents and troublemakers. Miss Washington, after due consideration, I have revised my position. I would like to support your motion. Well, well, look at you, Block. Finding your good sense and manners. Come on, men. I'll call a vote at once. I knew you'd come around. You're stubborn, Block, but you're not a schmuck. You know I'm right. The analysts of my father's think tank have been grinding the data for months. And they are rarely wrong. The Karuna Agreement, climate litigation. We estimate that fossil fuel companies like yours have a decade, at best, before you're all resigned to the junkyard of history. And what kind of secret Sir. society would we be if we didn't keep each other in power? What indeed? I knew we could talk sense. Just vote in favor of my motion, and I promise you, Block, you'll power the world for decades to come. But who cares how? as long as you're the one getting paid. Ain't that the truth? Friends and founders, the recess is over. Let's return to the council room and proceed with the vote. Well, you've certainly placed yourself at the crossroads of history. Nicely done, 47. Let's reiterate. For decades, you, the titans of the energy industry, have conspired to obscure the truth about climate change through lobbying, misinformation, and propaganda. This strategy has been incredibly successful, but all good things must come to an end. It is time for you to adapt or die, ladies and gentlemen. This is why our analysts have devised a 10-year transition plan to keep you in power. Play this right, and you will not only thrive, but this time, you will be the good guys. In other words, you have nothing to lose. So, everyone in favor, say aye. 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 Yay or nay, Block? Silence is consent. Nay. Excuse me? You heard me. Nay. Oh, for the love of... Ah, oh, idiot. Son of a... Blocked. You stupid... Oh. That's... Four eyes and one nay. Jebediah Block vetoes the motion. This council is adjourned until further notice. Block. A word? Upstairs. Right away, please. So, are you gonna tell me what the hell you're playing at? Just looking out for number one. Don't be an idiot. There's no future in coal, Block. You have one choice. Go green or go extinct. Now, personally, I don't give a shit if you go the way of the Dodo, but you are one of the Ark Society's biggest contributors. We'd hate to lose your business. Besides, if terrestrial coal goes under, who will pay for your children's survival? Your grandkids. After all, nobody says disaster will strike in our lifetime. 
You have a moral duty to stay rich, Block. Nice try, but I don't have grandchildren. You just had to make this difficult, didn't you? Here's the deal, Block. My family and I, we serve a group of powerful individuals who prefer to stay anonymous. Letting the climate go to hell in a handbasket has served their interests well, but only up to a point. You see, they are sitting on some patents that'll knock your socks off. Weather control systems, recycling pollution as fuel, cold fusion, you name it. And they plan to make trillions protecting the world from the very threat they worked so hard to create. But to do so, they need you guys to quite literally stop fighting windmills. Huh. The truth at last. And what's in it for Jebediah Block? Gentlemen, please give me and Mr. Block a moment. I offered you a carrot. Now, here's the stick. We know about Montana, Block. The mine collapse in 2015. It would be a shame if the American public got wind of your somewhat creative approach to safety regulations. Your popularity ratings are just south of John Wilkes Booth as it is. I see. No! One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Zoe Wall. 